Hey Rockstar, welcome to another episode of Random Museum. My name is Queen Rafi and this is my podcast Queen Rafi Space and for today's episode I want to talk about my grandmother. <laughs> yes, I know. Last week was like Mother's Day and stuff like but did you actually know that 6th of March is celebrated as Grandmother's Day in France? So technically, we're still in, are we still in March? Yeah, we're still in March. So I can still talk about my grandmother and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I think for me, um, I wanted to talk about my grandmother because one, she's been on my mind a lot and I don't even know why. I, I find myself talking about the most random thing and she just comes up in my subconscious and I start talking about her to people and I start remembering all the things that she did for us and everything that she was. And my grandmother is really special in the sense of, first off, when I was growing up as a child, I never met my grandmother on my father's side so my paternal grandmother I never knew who she was I only heard stories about that and my mom was an orphan so the person I refer to as my maternal grandmother was a foster mother to my mom but she was so much of a grandmother that half the time I forget that she's not like my biological grandmother in air quotes right now and she was such a lovely person such a lovely person if you grew up in Guru Yobe state maybe you're familiar with the name Alhaja Norame Kwanaka she had like a business she was a businesswoman She's a really businesswoman. She was into the sale of like this aluminum plates and, and rubber and those kind of things. I don't even know what that kind of thing is called, but I know that she was a full-blown businesswoman. And my grandmother was such a lovely person. She used to come down to Kano when I was growing up as a child to come buy stuff. And every time she would add one more day to her itinerary just to take us out, just to, to, to spend time with us, she would take us into the markets in Kano and she would buy us like... There's something called cherubi malam. It is a sweet that is tied to look like a rosary. So it ends up becoming this long rose of rosary. I don't know if anybody knows that, but that's like some things that she used to buy for us, you know, her, her whole life, I think, about her whole adult life and, you know, where she became really business centered and made all of her money was in Guru Yobe State. I mean, at least the one that I know about. So believe me, if you know my grandmother better than me and you have better accounts, no Allah. This is my own account of how I, I remember her. So um, whenever we would travel to see her, because our long holidays were always spent with her, she, she always wanted us to come over. So every long holiday, you know, after Tethem in like primary school, we used to go over to her place. And as soon as we drop, she would get us like um, Fura de Nono. She would make sure that she was the one. She would wash her hands and she would, you know, break the fura into the nono with her own hands. Eh? And she would add the sugar and put everything together and get us like ice cubes and, and tell us to sit around her and drink it. She really enjoyed being our grandmother and it was so beautiful to be, you know, pampered in that manner. Whenever we're going back, she would take us to the stores in Guru Yobe State and she would buy us clothes. She would tell us to point at whatever clothes we wanted, whatever shoes we wanted. Like going to my grandmother's place was a full on pamper session. You just knew that for that three weeks, you're going to be sport silly with food. I don't know if they still have that in Guru. I want to visit that place one of these days uh, when I have the time. Like they used to have these amazing fishes. Like she would tell them to catch them fresh and they would fry them. And would have a whole fish on our food you know whether it was rice whether it was you know uh beans whatever it was she would make sure that we always had that fried fish in front of her store um, was another an elderly woman who sold the one, one of the most tastiest akara i have ever had in my life and every evening she would make sure that she bought that akara for us not because we we're hungry but just because we needed something to snack on my grandma was such a lovely person so whenever we we came around to guru as soon as she hears us coming around she would hug us like she would hold on to you you would we would go she would hug us she would, she would hold on to us for like 10 minutes 20 minutes just praying for you just you know um i'm um, reciting all of this amazing praises in yoruba it's actually called oriki she would say all of those things and you would just feel so 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 beautiful so nice my grandma you know she died when I was still in secondary school. And I don't remember crying. I mean, my mom was really distraught. My mom really cried. And I think my siblings as well, but I didn't cry. It took, it took me about two months, you know, after... I No, not two months, about two years after. I wanted to take, like, Fura the No-No somewhere. And as soon as I asked the woman to sell it for me, 
all the emotions of knowing that all the times that I have taken this thing, my grandma was the one who would break the fura into the no-no with her own hands just came rushing back and I just started to cry. But lately, she's she's been on my mind so much. I've been thinking about her. I would make references to her a lot in my statements. And I don't know if she ever knew how thankful I was that we had those experiences with her. A lot of people don't get to experience having, like, grandmothers or grandfathers dote over them or love them or pamper them. And I didn't, I didn't really know so much of my paternal grandfather before he died as well. So... I didn't really know so much of pampering that ever happened. My elder ones talk about it, but I don't have any memories of that, unfortunately. And I didn't have any paternal grandmother and I didn't have any maternal grandfather. So having her there, knowing that my mom was her foster child and she was such a fantastic grandmom to us, just makes me really happy. And I wish that I was able to tell her, oh, I was bold enough or I was old enough to tell her how much I appreciate all that she did how much i appreciated the love like how much i appreciated the untainted love and admiration and pampering that she gave us and this is just me saying if you still have grandmoms around and you're you know old enough to tell them how fantastic they are please do tell them how amazing they are one of my friends still have her grandmoms around and i love that she shows her off and she tells her all the time how much she loves her i love that if you still have your grandmoms around please tell them and they are amazing and they're fantastic, please tell them, you know. And if you are a mother who is having to nurture somebody who is not your child, please believe me, it never goes in vain. There is nothing you do for anybody's child that goes in vain. I'm a believer in that. Kindness never goes unrepaid, you know. Um, so anybody else who knew my grandmother, <laughs> I hope that, you know, you say a prayer for her today. And for every other person listening, please say a prayer for my grandmother May Almighty Allah widen her grave. May she be in peace. May she be granted into al Fridos. Because she was such an amazing person. She was such a beautiful soul. And I am I'm grateful for those memories that she gave me. And I'm really thankful that I was loved by her. That I was pampered by her. And not just me, my siblings as well. And my grandma was a very good person. Like everybody in the area knew her. Till today, if you go to that town and you're trying to navigate and you tell them, oh, I'm looking for this social person, you say her name, you would get navigation. Yes, she was that popular. She was that nice. She was that amazing. I mean, even as a young person, I saw how she interacted with like the people who worked for her. And I could tell that these were good people because they were ready to do anything for her at that time. And not just do anything for her because she wanted them to do it, but because of how nice and how good she was. She was such a beautiful person. I'm getting really emotional now, but I don't know. I just needed to talk about my grandmother. She's such an amazing person. And um, I do hope that my mother gets to experience what it's like to be a grandmother. Because I know she would make a fantastic grandmother as well. And she would make some child sit down and record an episode about her. So, um, yeah. And I do hope that Almighty Allah grants me the 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 the, the joy and the, the opportunity to give my parents a grandchild my my dad would be a grand good grandfather i see him with his grandkids he has now and it's amazing (laughs) you know so um i think that's it i don't even know what this was but i hope that you enjoyed listening to me just you know talking about my grandmother thanks for listening